If you have a bodyguard or condition, this video may change your whole life. I'm gonna um, quickly and briefly talk about every single thing I know to improve body odor, including TMAU, uh, PATM, any body odor condition, okay? Like it all, like most, at least the large minority of um, body odor conditions are all due to the same reason. I got imbalance, so <clears throat> no matter what kind of body odor condition you have, and even if you're unsure, like this video may change your whole life. So. I'm gonna briefly include every single point, every single thing that I know of that will help you. Okay, so the first one, we have gotta start with the magical kombucha. That's what cured me, so I gotta say that first. If you haven't tried very fermented kombucha, make sure you try it. I have a couple other videos about it, or more than a couple. So make sure you check them out. Basically, kombucha will give you the bacteria that your gut needs because you're lacking that. And that's why you smell bad. So kombucha is, is your most likely bet, even more likely than kefir, I think, to work. Because I've, wor I've talked with um, quite a few people that have cured their body odor conditions. And for some, kefir worked, but for most, it didn't. And kombucha seems to be more consistent. Like, it seems to work for mo more people than kefir. So I still suggest you to try kefir, like, Definitely try it if you want like uh, I would actually recommend you to try it as well Both should be better than than either alone So but yeah start with kombucha if you're unsure or even better start with both and Let's get to the next point Okay, so next point You probably like if you've been in the body odor game for a while and you've done your research You already probably know this but you chlorophyll will help you to reduce your symptoms it's a very good band-aid uh, because it will it will not cure you but it will reduce your symptoms by quite a bit at least for most people so it's definitely worth a try chlorophyll or activated charcoal i suggest you to start with chlorophyll and you can also try activated charcoal if you want but i used to only take chlorophyll because the activated charcoal gave me like some gut side effects i don't know i'm not sure if it's that healthy to take it all the time so yeah, I'm gonna include more information in the description of, of what kind of thing you need to get. Yeah, that's it. That's just gonna basically reduce your odor by 50% or something. Like it's just gonna help a little bit. So make sure you try that as well. Next point, and I haven't seen anybody ever talk about this, but tap water is actually quite a problem. Um, I'm not a, a tap water scientist by any means, but tap water has some compounds that are made so that you don't get sick when you drink it from an infection or from a from any bacteria that could be in it so basically tap water wherever you live at um has chlorine or something like that like it's, it's got some antibacterial compounds that i mean if they're meant to to if they're meant to prevent bacteria from being in the water when you drink it it's obviously like gonna do the same to your gut and I've noticed this, like I've noticed that tap water, when it's very chlorinated, like I can definitely feel uh, my, my gut is feel as well. Like I, I can tend to get more and indigestion and stuff like that. And I noticed back then that tap water, like it did increase my smell. Like I could, I could tell. And because I could smell myself, then I, it was really easy to see if something affected me or not. So you may not have, um, ever noticed that but like that's definitely something that you should avoid tap water especially if you're at your home it's very chlorinated or whatever the compound that they put in is i think it varies depending on the country but anyways uh, try to either boil your water for 20 minutes to remove uh, these compounds or get purchased but um just purchase um, bottled water which has less of that so if, if it's too expensive, just get into the habit of boiling it. Like it doesn't take that long. Like it's totally worth it. And, and I can assure you, it will definitely help you. Even if it's just a little bit like we, we gonna, we gotta add every factor that we can. And together that may be what it takes to cure you or at least to reduce your symptoms significantly. Yeah. Avoid tap water like the plague. Next point.
Okay, exercise. This is a big one. Not just for getting cured, but also ju just to reduce symptoms in the meantime. Um, exercise will make you healthier. Obviously, it will boost your immune system. It will uh, help you um, improve your gut health in general and fight off whatever's, whatever is in your gut. And it's overall really good. But on top of that, cardio makes you sweat a lot and that helps you to remove the excessive um, compounds that make you smell bad. So you, you, if you do cardio, whatever makes you smell bad is released. And you if you have TMAU, that's DMA, it's released through your skin and the excess is removed. And not only on top of the health benefits, um, you also get that, you know? So definitely do cardio, like try to get 30 to an minutes to an hour as much as you can. An hour would be perfect. Um, of cardio every day like that's gonna help you stay in shape that's gonna help your gut quite a lot and particularly cardio is gonna help you to decrease your odor in that day by reducing the excessive um, amounts of TMA or other compounds that you may have if you have another condition that's not TMAU like just general generalizing it for any kind of body odor condition like there's no way exercise is gonna harm you like it's definitely gonna be another factor that sums up in that in that in that treatment so definitely definitely start get them fuck definitely start doing cardio if you um, aren't okay and next point okay if you haven't noticed coffee I love it I love coffee but when it comes to body odor you gotta you gotta stay away from that cup of joe. Um, it's no good. It's gonna make you sweat more. And if you're sensitive like like me, like that made me smell at least twice as bad. So definitely if you're sensitive to caffeine and, or maybe even if you're not that sensitive, you may not be noticing, but uh, it can definitely make you uh, smell worse. And it's also not really that good for the gut, at least in my experience, it did not help my gut. It actually like caused diarrhea sometimes when I took it. So yeah, I think you can try to stay awake from coffee if you can. If you were really addicted to coffee, try to move to tea. That should at least make it a little better. But even even tea, if you're sensitive, is gonna make you smell worse. So try to stay away from it. That and any stimulants in general. So ca caffeine or any other stimulants, um, they're gonna make you smell worse. So next one. Now, when it comes to drugs, caffeine will make you smell worse and stimulants, but sedatives on the other hand will make you smell less. So sedatives can be, if marijuana is, is legal or not where you live, you can take that, especially the indica strains it will help you reduce sweating uh, but make sure you're not smoking them with or ingesting them with tobacco because the t because tobacco is actually a stimulant and can make you smell worse. And also other drugs you can talk with the, with your doctor to get the prescribed either benzodiazepines which can be addictive. So be careful with that. Know what you're dealing with. But know that in emergency situations or even daily, like that's whatever you decide to do they will reduce your odor. So uh, most sedatives will do that. Except alcohol, because alcohol will actually make you smell worse. That's the, that's the only one I can think of. Taking a sedative will temporarily, temporarily, you get me? Reduce your smell. Really nice in emergency situations. You can talk about that with your doctor and maybe get something prescribed. Social situations they can save your ass. Alpha they will not cure you, obviously. It's just a temporal band-aid. I also almost forgot to mention there's this drug drug called Kratom that you should try out try out or experiment with. Um, it's one of the a sedative as well that you can use to reduce odor. Um, you should definitely do a lot of research about it because if you use a lot it can be you can become dependent on it but it can be great for for social situations and just do your research about it all i can tell you is that it will uh reduce your odor a little bit so it's a great band-aid um so yeah definitely try that it's legal um 
mo um, in most places in the world. So, so yeah. But anyways, to the next one. Okay, so another one you've never heard of is the Wim Hof method. This is a technique, a training regime that consists of breathing exercises and also taking cold showers. So there are two aspects to the Wim Hof method. You can Google that, you can see a lot of videos about it, but basically by doing these breathing techniques and by taking cold showers, you improve your immune system and reduce inflammation. I will link to a study in the, bottom, um, in the description um, where, where basically it explains that some kinds of bacteria that feed on choline and produce TMA, so the kind of bacteria that makes us smell bad, um, those kinds of bacteria feed um, on nitrate or something like that, which is a byproduct of inflammation. And what the Wim Hof method does is it reduces inflammation. Okay, I'll link to the study in the description and if you want to like check it out for yourself you can do that but basically the Wim Hof method if you, if you want me to sum it up it will help you help you smell less it, and it will make you a lot healthier as well definitely do your research about the Wim Hof method I'm gonna include links in the description that explain how to do it and also include the link to the study but you'll be noticing if I'm, I cannot tell if it will cure you like I'm not sure but I, I can tell you that for sure, it, for sure, it will at least um, reduce your symptoms. That's a, a pretty magic trick you've never heard of, but and it's kind of like it kind of requires a lot of willpower to do, especially the cold showers. But if you can manage to do it, like, trust me, it's worth it. Not just for the smell reduction, but for overall health, it will make you feel much better, much healthier much more, you'll have much more energy, etc. Just do it, okay? Just do it. <laughs> now, um, this is kind of obvious, but you gotta eat well, like eat a lot of veggie, veggies, vegetables. Um, if, if you don't like vegetables, like start today, go to the supermarket and go get a bunch of any vegetable and start eating it that every single meal. Like, overall, for health, for health, you gotta be eating veggies. Like if your gut is so messed up, like this is something that you cannot, this, this is not debatable. You gotta eat the veggies, okay? So pretty obvious, but I know some of you aren't doing it. So get started with that. Yeah, pretty straightforward. Um, another tip, which I don't have experience with, but if you're doing all of this already and you want more, you want to get more results then like go hardcore with probiotics take different probiotics start start uh, making kefir start making kombucha start making sauerkraut start making other probiotics like just go take the shotgun approach and try a bunch of different probiotics and you can try them one by one or however you want but um it would be amazing for the community if uh, if you guys start doing that, trying different probiotics, posting in the group, oh, this shit doesn't work, or it does work, this worked for me. You know, maybe kombucha doesn't work for everyone, and somebody finds out that sauerkraut works best for them. I cannot figure this out, uh, this all out on my own, so we're gonna, we need to do this, guys. We got this, okay? Hey, I forgot about a very important one, and that's to reduce your choline intake. So, essentially, by eating foods that have a low choline content, that don't have much choline, um, you reduce your smell because the problem in the first place is that you got a, a, a type of bacteria that eats choline and turns it, turns it into TMA. So, by reducing the amount of choline that you eat, um, there's not, you know, you don't produce as much TMA, the bad bacteria don't produce as much TMA and, um, you know, you smell less. So to reduce your choline intake, avoid fit foods like fish, eggs, pork, organ meats. You should Google the food that you're going to eat and look for the choline content. Like if you got basic Googling skills, 
shouldn't be too difficult. So whatever you're gonna eat, Google the choline content, look at the choline amount, and compare it to other foods, and pick foods that have a lower choline content. And that's like a surefire way to instantly reduce your smell, like like a lot. Like that's one of the first basic things you should be doing if you want to reduce like your odor instantly right away. But it does suck that you have to limit your the, the kinds of food that you eat. But it's it's worth it. Like it's not worth it to eat a little bit of fish and just to smell terrible for the next couple of days. You know. Okay, I think that's the last. I hope I didn't forget about anything else. Okay, I want to prove this works and I want I really really want you to get cured and I want us to get to the bottom of this. So I made a group that you can join in the description. Um, it's a group for body odor sufferers. The whole point is so that everybody can talk to each other and post their results, post the treatments they're trying. Um, you could call it a, 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 a research study where everybody's gonna be a lab rat and they're gonna be posting what they're doing, what they're trying, what's working, what's not. And the point is to get to the bottom of all of this and we're gonna work together on getting to the bottom of this because it's, it's not gonna happen magically so make sure you join that group if you're a body auto sufferer i don't care if it's tmu or patm or whatever if you got body odor, just make sure you join the group and you share what your what treatments you're trying what results you're getting um that's how we're gonna get to the bottom of this 